China's self-built space station named Tiangong translated to Celestial Palace is a cutting-edge marvel orbiting up to 450 kilometers above Earth. Hosting a maximum of three astronauts, it's the most advanced space station humanity has ever seen. Unlike previous stations resembling submarines in space, Tiangong stands out as a futuristic achievement, resembling something out of science fiction. Journey of the Space Station The journey of space station development began in the early 1970s when the Soviet Union launched the first ever space station, Salyut, in 1971. This single-module design marked humanity's initial foray into long-duration space habitation. Just two years later, in 1973, NASA followed suit with Skylab, a station housed within a modified Saturn V rocket stage. Skylab, with its spacious interior, marked a significant milestone in space station architecture. However, it wasn't until 1986 that the world witnessed a groundbreaking advancement in space station technology with the launch of Mir by the Soviet Union. Mir was a modular space station composed of multiple interconnected modules, enabling expansion and versatility in its operations. Despite facing challenges, including the collapse of the Soviet Union during its construction, Mir became a symbol of Soviet space prowess, showcasing their expertise in long-duration space missions. Fast forward to the International Space Station, ISS, which emerged as a collaborative effort involving multiple space agencies, including NASA and Roscosmos. When compared to its predecessors, the ISS bears a striking resemblance to Mir in terms of its modular design and layout. This continuity in design reflects the extensive experience and knowledge gained from previous space station projects. However, despite advancements in technology and international collaboration, the interior of these space stations, including Salyut, Skylab, Mir, and ISS, retains a utilitarian aesthetic reminiscent of submarines. The confined spaces are cluttered with equipment, pipes, and wires, highlighting the practical challenges of living and working in microgravity environments. This design ethos, shaped by decades of space exploration, prioritizes functionality over aesthetics resembling more of a practical engineering feat than a futuristic spacecraft like the Starship Enterprise. China's Tiangong Looking ahead to China's Tiangong space station, the contrast is striking. Despite only about 20 years between the ISS and Tiangong, the latter represents a century's worth of progress. Tiangong now comprises three modules forming a T-shaped structure measuring 55 meters in length and 39 meters in width orbiting approximately 400 kilometers above Earth's surface. The Tianhe module serves as the core command center, initially launched in April 2021. The Wentian experiment module, added in July 2022, functions as a combination of crew quarters, a research lab, and an airlock. The Mengtian module, a twin to the Wen, serves purely as a space for research and experimentation, joining the station in November 2022. In terms of construction pace, Tiangong's development is unprecedented. It took Russia and NASA two years to make the ISS habitable and a decade of international collaboration to complete. However, Tiangong's rapid construction showcases China's efficiency and determination. Interestingly, Tiangong is part of China's larger space exploration plan, known as Project 921, initiated in the 1990s. Phase 1 involved the development and launch of crew-capable rockets and spacecraft, such as the Long March 2F and the Shenzhou spacecraft, first launched in 1999. The Long March rockets are named in honor of Mao Dong, a revered war hero and leader of the People's Red Army, while Shenzhou translates to Divine Vessel. China's Space Exploration Progress By 2003, China's space program achieved a significant milestone by successfully launching the first Chinese astronaut, or Taikonaut, into low Earth orbit aboard the Shenzhou 5 mission. This marked the initiation of Phase 2 of their space exploration plan, which primarily focused on honing their skills and capabilities. With missions like Shenzhou 7, China conducted its first ever spacewalk using indigenous extravehicular suits. Subsequently, the country began deploying test modules, akin to miniature space stations, where Chinese crews practiced extended stays in space and docking maneuvers between these modules and the Shenzhou spacecraft. During this time, China also developed the Tianzhou spacecraft, a cargo transport vehicle with a payload capacity of 6,500 kilograms. It was designed to be launched using the Long March 7 rocket, 
a modern replacement for the Long March 2F, first launched in 2016. Phase 3 of China's space plan brings us to the present, with the focus on the development and assembly of their own space station, Tiangong, meaning Heavenly Palace. So why is China so keen on building its own space station? Firstly, it's undoubtedly a remarkable feat to have their own space hangout. However, there are also geopolitical factors at play. China was barred from participating in the International Space Station ISS, in 2011 by the United States, citing concerns over human rights issues and national security. This ban, enforced through a Department of Defense Act, prevented NASA from collaborating with China. This decision stemmed from fears of intellectual property theft and espionage, given the historical context of espionage activities between the two countries. In response, China decided to pursue its own space station, undeterred by the political tensions. Interior Design Upon entering the Tiangong space station, one immediately notices its spacious and open layout, a stark contrast to the International Space Station ISS. Tiangong boasts a minimalist and modern design, offering a refreshing departure from the cramped quarters of its predecessor. Interestingly, the outer diameter of Tiangong's modules closely matches that of the ISS modules, measuring about 4.2 meters or 14 feet across. However, the key disparity lies in the internal volume of available space. Tiangong's modules are notably longer, with the Wan and Menon modules spanning 18 meters or 59 feet, compared to the 8.4 meter, 28 foot length of the ISS's primary operating facility, the Destiny Lab. This difference in space utilization can be attributed to several factors. Firstly, Tiangong's advanced technology allows for more compact systems, enabling them to fit into smaller spaces. For instance, wireless connectivity reduces the need for extensive cabling seen on the ISS. Additionally, much of Tiangong's technology is cleverly concealed behind plain white panels when not in use, lending the station a clean and modern appearance. The rationale behind this design choice whether purely functional, aesthetic, or for the sake of confidentiality is not entirely clear. Nonetheless, it contributes to Tiangong's sleek and contemporary ambience. Tiangong's core module Tianhe module. The inaugural module of the Tiangong space station, known as the Tianhe, or Harmony of the Heavens, achieved orbit successfully in April 2021. This core structure, weighing 20 tons and boasting a maximum diameter of 4.2 meters, encompasses all essential components necessary for a fully operational space station capable of accommodating a crew of three. Comprising three main sections, the Tianhe module begins with a spherical multi-docking node at its smaller end. This node features four ports, with one permanently attached to the core module. The opposite port serves as the main docking point for the Shenzhou crew vehicle. The two side ports are berthing ports for twin research labs. Additionally, the bottom port serves as a secondary crew docking point used during crew handovers, while the top port facilitates crew spacewalks. Moving up to the narrow cylindrical section, we find the crew quarters, complete with individual bunks for three crew members and essential facilities such as the space toilet. At the wider end of the module lies a working area housing three experimental racks and the propulsion section responsible for maintaining orbital control. Additionally, another docking port is situated at the end of the module, designated for the Tiantong cargo craft and the future docking of the Chinese Space Telescope. The Tianhe module also supports the station's primary robotic arm, measuring 10 meters in length. While slightly shorter than the Canada Arm 2 currently in use at the ISS, the Chinese arm exhibits similar capabilities and the potential for expansion. On July 24, 2022, China launched the Wenchang WCN Research Laboratory module for Tiangong aboard the Long March 5B rocket. This 20-ton structure, dubbed Heavenly Quest, marked China's first heavy-lift space launcher deployment. The Long March 5B configuration it features a hydrogen-fueled core stage and four liquid-fueled side boosters burning RP-1 kerosene. Despite its unique design and remarkable power, the Long March 5B's deployment method has sparked controversy. Unlike traditional rockets, which undergo full-stage separation, the Long March 5B remains intact, with the core booster engines propelling the module into orbital insertion before final separation. This unconventional approach ensures the majority of the rocket structure enters orbit, albeit temporarily, before gradually descending back into the Earth's atmosphere. 
Now these boosters are too substantial to simply vaporize like typical satellites. While they don't remain intact, sizable chunks descend to Earth's surface. This was evident when the Long March 5B booster stage disintegrated over the Indian Ocean, scattering debris over the Indonesian islands. The Wenchang module. The Wenchang WCN module on the space station serves a dual purpose. It provides three additional crew sleeping quarters, increasing the station's capacity to accommodate six individuals simultaneously. Additionally, it houses various scientific experiments and features two expansive solar panels spanning 55 meters from tip to tip. These cutting-edge solar cells, thin and flexible, maximize surface area and generate approximately 7 kilowatts of electricity for the station. Within the Wenchang module are four experimental racks dedicated to research in life sciences, biotechnology and variable gravity effects. Towards the smaller end of the module is space reserved for external experiments. This section allows attachment of nodes to the ship's hull to collect data, with crew access facilitated through the airlock and hatch on the Wenchang module. This airlock will serve as the primary access point for spacewalks. Additionally, crew members can access external attachment points using a secondary robotic arm, measuring 5 meters in length. What's fascinating about this arm is its ability to maneuver around the station. With multiple attachment points scattered throughout, the arm can crawl by grabbing onto one point and releasing the previous one, resembling a robotic caterpillar. Furthermore, this secondary arm can join forces with the main arm to create a single 15-meter-long robotic arm, matching the size and capability of the Canada Arm 2 on the ISS. The Menon Module Arriving at Tiangong in October 2022, the Menon Module, also known as the Heavenly Dream, represents the final piece of the puzzle for the space station. Similar to the Wenchang module, Menon serves as another research laboratory but with the notable absence of crew sleeping quarters. This difference allows for more space dedicated to experimental racks. Additionally, Menon features its own airlock, functioning as a secondary cargo port and boasts an identical giant solar panel array to Wenchang, further enhancing the station's energy capabilities. With the addition of the third module, Tiangong is now fully energized and operating at full functionality. However, the space station's expansion doesn't stop here. Future plans. Plans for the Chinese Space Telescope with capabilities akin to the Hubble telescope are underway. Unlike Hubble, this telescope is designed to operate independently from Tiangong, but can dock with the station for servicing and upgrades, offering a significant advantage over existing telescopes. Looking ahead, China is already considering further expansion of Tiangong. Recent discussions at the International Astronautical Congress revealed plans to expand the station from three to six modules. This expansion aims to accommodate additional international research projects, fostering collaboration with entities such as the United States Office for Outer Space Affairs and the European Space Agency. While Tiangong's current size may limit the presence of international crew members, future expansions could change this landscape. At 180 metric tons post-expansion, Tiangong remains smaller than the ISS, which has been in orbit for over two decades. Nonetheless, China's aspirations to become a major space power align with Tiangong's continued growth and development.